All right, everybody. So, get ready to butcher some chickens. Um, just thought I'd let you let you know that and um, kind of explain what I'm what how I usually do it. Um, we've got our chickens right here. Um, they're uh, three of them are. Oops, sorry, three of them are pretty old. Um, so it was time for them to go and I can't keep feeding them if they're going to not lay and stuff. So, um, and then the other one's a young rooster. I already have another uh, young rooster that I use for breeding purposes. Um, so what I do is I take the chickens and I'll take you over here. This is just my butcher knife in my pot that I'll put the, put the chickens in then. But what I do is take a pot here and I'll dunk them in there for a little bit and um, let, uh, let them heat up in hot water and that helps you pluck them a lot easier. Um, you can notice a big difference when you're plucking um, when you get done plucking them and it starts getting cold they start cooling down and uh, you can tell a big difference there when you had first just put them in and then when they're um, cooling down so it really helps you to pluck um, I guess I could put a chicken in here um, I know some people might not like this as morbid or whatever you want to call it, but, um, sorry. So there's one chicken going down in there. I just let them, you know, soak down in there in that hot water for, uh, for a little while. And then I'll pull them out, pull it out, and pluck it. So I'll, uh, I don't leave them in there, but just uh, a couple minutes. Not even a couple minutes, like a, a minute, a minute and a half, something like that, in that hot water. And then I'll pull them out and pluck them. And uh, my battery light's flashing at me. So I'm going to get this set up over here, and I'll show you how easily they pluck. So... All right, all right. I'm getting ready to pull that chicken out. You don't want the chickens. Hopefully, you can see this all right. You can see how it just peels off of there. You know, my glasses are steaming up. I need to stand up up here. You don't want to leave them in. Yeah, let's hop. Um, too long because it'll um, it'll start to cook them. You don't want to cook them. I gotta take my glasses off. Stick my glasses fogging up. And the skin will start tearing real easy if you let them in too long. I just have a bucket that I scrape them in, or throw the, the um, feathers in. For you trappers out there, where it's legal, um, you can use uh, you could use these feathers for at your sets. You know, doing this, you don't want to um, take and cook the intestines either. But you can just see it just pulls, feathers just pull right off. The wings are a little bit tougher.
Yeah, you just have to. Um, take your time sometimes if it's if they get too hot because if you're wanting the skin on so it don't tear And there's a lot of videos out there on butchering chickens, but uh, this is just how I do it. Um, chickens were out, so I just took the 22 and shot them in the head. Um, so sometimes I use a, a butcher cone. So, um, if it starts getting real hard, feathers start getting real hard to come off, you can always dunk them again. And there's little hairs, you, you can't see them probably, but there's little hairs all over. I'll take a torch then and just singe them off. And not my acetylene torch either. <laughs> we can fry them up real fast with that. chicken wings so this is just what I do how I do it but I'll uh, I'm gonna keep on rolling I might actually dunk her again quick um, but I'm gonna roll here and uh, then you can see um, what it looks like when I'm done. So just don't get too long. Alright, later.